from ghouls to zombies to vampires, every culture in the world has some stories of undead creature, and all, remarkably, are quite similar. There have been many theories proposed throughout the years by many in the scientific community. Theories blaming the misunderstanding of the process of decomposition or blaming mentally ill people. I disagree with all these theories. Now, what I'm about to say might come as a surprise to some of you, seeing as I'm a medical doctor and a scientist, but they're real. They exist. Vampires, ghouls, zombies, the undead, whatever you want to call them, existed and exist today. Wait, hear me out. During the 14th century, there are numerous accounts of vampires around the time of the Black Death. Wait, more and more bacillus anthracis endospores are being discovered in graves dated back to that time. It wasn't the bubonic plague, it was a form of anthrax. Think about it. The bubonic plague is a zoonotic disease, right? It comes from the fleas on rats. Everyone accepts bubonic plague as the disease otherwise known as the Black Death. And I, I find that theory outdated. In fact, it's preposterous. Two-thirds of the population of Iceland died at the time of the Black Death. There weren't any rats in that country at that time. They weren't introduced there till the 19th century. Now, back to anthrax and the undead. Recently, there were documentary reports in the Middle East of people rising from the grave and attacking other people. My good friend, Dr. Muhammad Haddad in Iraq, actually performed autopsies on these supposed undead people who had been dispatched by the villagers by decapitation and, get this, a stake through their hearts. Dr. Haddad immediately noticed the telltale black lesions on the skin of the infected people. Later, he discovered traces of anthrax spores in the corpses of the infected. Whether you believe me or not, it has long been known that anthrax has been used as a bioweapon for hundreds, perhaps even over a thousand years. And recently it has become a real threat, having been used by terrorists not too long ago, as you all may remember. I and my team here have found a cure for this disease and every other bacterial pathogen known to man. We've created a, a universal bacteriophage, a virus, but a good virus, that can destroy any and every germ that exists today. <laughs> 